What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is moving night. Now we got a big one tonight. We're going to check out the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A lot of people suggest that I need to watch this one. And they say it's a great, they say it's a classic and stuff. And um, this was made way back in the 70s. Now about a year ago, if someone suggested I watch this movie and asked me if I like it, I'd say maybe not because it's so far back. But within the last year, I've been watching a lot of great movies coming back from the 70s and early 80s. And I absolutely loved them. I mean, you got The Exorcist. You got Halloween. You got Friday the 13th. You got Alien. All these great movies were made way back in the 70s. And they got great special effects, great action. Horror was right off the chart. Pretty good acting on all of them. So, since I've seen all those movies, I'm going to have to change my mind about the possibility on this prediction. I might actually like this one. And based on how everyone else has opinion on this one or how great this one is... I'm kind of excited about it. So, well, you got your drinks and your snack. You hit the like button. You hit the subscribe button. We're finna jump off into this one and see how we're gonna like this one on the other side. So, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1970, I think 1973. So, let's go. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths, in particular Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, that was creepy. August 18, 1973. The sound. Oh. It's already starting off messed up. Oh. Oh. Should they pick him up? Why would you pick up a hitchhiker? Oh, he's scared of me. No! 
Really? If it had just picked up a stranger? I think we just picked up Drax. Where you headed, man? Oh. Now, you work at that place? Oh, no. Hey, my, my brother worked there. My, my grandfather, too. What's wrong with him? My dad's always been in me. Hey, man, did you go in that slaughter room or whatever they call it? The place where they shoot cattle in the head with that big air gun thing. Oh, that, that, that gun's so good. I was in there once with my uncle. The old way. With a sledge. <laughs> yeah. See, that was Jeez. better. Just say that better that way. Look. Oh. They don't turn the heads away. Yeah, pictures? Yeah. I believe they picked this guy up. Exactly why you don't pick up hitchhikers. I don't know, I guess people were more trusting in the 70s or something. I don't know, but you do not pick up strangers. That was crazy. Gas station with no gas? No, it's an old two-story rock house and it's sitting up on a hill. I think you have to turn on that road back there, but I'm not real sure. Well, now look, you, you boys, you 
boys don't want to go mess around no old house. And those things is dangerous. You're liable to get hurt. Oh, my father owns it. And that's your daddy's place, huh? Yeah. Now look, uh, I got some good barbecue here. Why don't you fellas stick around here a while? The transport will be by in a little while. Them girls now, they, they don't want to go mess around the whole house. He's back. And that guy cut the hell out of himself. I wouldn't even keep that. You think you could do that to yourself? Like crazy? Yeah. It, it takes something, though. I mean, just to do that to yourself like you did. <laughs> Hey, I got some barbecue. Oh. Got some barbecue from this place? Come on, Sally. We're going out to the Dallas place. Let's go. Hey, that guy smeared blood all over the bed. Oh. Looks like we're trying to run. Yeah. She cutting the food with that knife? Oh. That's the house? This poor guy having a hard time. Something weird's going on. Come here. 
bunch of old cars. A generator? Oh, okay. Turn around. Don't go in. What? Don't go into people's house. Go in there. Wow. is this? It's time to leave. It's time to go. So, devil worshippers or something? Whoa! Run! Go! Fight! Chainsaw. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. Well, 
he couldn't find us anyway. I mean, he doesn't even know our name. I gave him your name, Franklin. I told him where you live. I even gave him your zip code. He's going to kill you. Yeah. Listen, I think I'll walk down to the street before it gets too dark. How do I get there, Frank? Well, there's a trail down there between the two old sheds. Can I go, too? Uh, I think you better stay here. All right. Walk up in the house Come at the on. very least that's trespassing. Oh, that's the room. Kurt. What's that? Yeah, it's time to turn around and run. Oh. Split up. This poor dude can't even run. We don't have any keys. They just keys.
the same place. So we're straight to his house. Jeez. Look at Nana's own door. Oh, dead body. Another dead body. Oh. It's a big dude. the door. He gonna kill this old dude too. Crap, she lost everything. Yo, what's now kill this old dude too? Telephone. Jeez, you got to go out to get the truck. He's going to get chopped up. I'm surprised he made it. Have to do a wide open. What? You just cooperate, young lady. I have no trouble. What do you want? No, there's no need to do that. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Oh man! What is he doing? Come on, girl, fight back. Jeez. Is he kidding that guy? They must be working together or something. Oh. Turn the light off. This movie is so creepy. Lock up and get the lights. Cost electricity is enough to drive a man out of business. You poking him? This is strange. <laughs> this has got to be one of the weirdest movies I've seen. Oh, 
this guy? He knew him. Really? He's the one doing the grave robbing. All these lunatics know each other. Jeez. Brother. Hey, brothers. Jeez. Crap. Brought her right back to his house. Oh. Grandpa. This movie is disturbing. That's horrific. So they bring this dead body downstairs. Looks like they dug this body up and playing around with it. Calling it grandpa. Maybe it was the grandpa that they dug up. What? Oh. Cut our finger. What? Oh, that's alive? What's going on? I thought, I thought he was dead. Jeez. Uh, Jeez. This is madness. Oh. Crap.
Jeez. Oh. What? Jeez. This is insanity. This poor girl. Oh, too close. This is strange. This old man can't hold Oh man, he barely alive. He can't hold a hammer. <laughs> this is madness. Oh, crap, that had to hurt. I don't blame her. It's daytime. Gotta run faster than it. Run. Man. You got him. Oh, he couldn't have back up. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Crap. Hurry up, get in the truck. Don't get out the truck. Crap. Close it. Go, go, go. Why is she getting out of the truck? Ain't no way to where I left my truck. Jeez. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Put his other own leg. Oh, another truck. Jump. Why the truck driver? Crap. Hope this guy ain't kin to him too. Truck driver got
Really? Okay, so whoa. That was a movie. That was something. I don't think I ever seen something that weird or uh, disturbing. That was weird. Crap. I mean, from start to finish, this movie was weird. Whoa. I mean, that's pure chaos. Whoa. Okay, so let's talk about it, I guess. Takes a chainsaw mask. I can see why people talk about this movie now. This is a horror movie here. This is weird. I mean, it's like, um, everything was just real disturbing the way they shot the movie. Everything's just real eerie and creepy and stuff. And wow, this got to be the craziest family I've seen on the movie before. I mean, every member of this family was insane. And, um, wow. That was some messed up stuff. I mean, one by one, each one of them got picked off. And I'm guessing chopped up with the chainsaw and stuff. Had one girl stuffed down in a, um, like a deep freezer or something. And, um, I guess freezing her to death. And after he had her up on a hook, he chopped the other guy up with a chainsaw. Hit the other guy in the head with a hammer. Well, hit both of them in the head with a hammer. And, um, wow. I think she got the worst thing of the deal in a way because she had to go through an entire night of this craziness. A house full of dead bodies. Body parts all over the place. Bones everywhere. Wow. That was insanity. I have never seen a movie this crazy. This girl, I don't blame her for jumping out the window because, I mean, it was like nothing left. That was, that's the time to really just go for them, take a leap forward. Oh. At the end, um, the truck driver, the truck driver probably got left back there with these lunatics. At least one of the lunatics, he got ran over by a truck, so that's one good thing. I mean, he got flattened with that truck. But, um, Leatherface, I think his name, he's still in the road. That was a weird, disturbing way it went off. He's just spinning around with a chainsaw, just going mad. Wow. I don't have a lot of words to, to describe it. I don't have a lot of words to describe this movie. This is weird. This is insanity. This is pure madness. Wow. I gotta say, they made some good movies in the 70s. Man. Good special effects. Great acting. I mean... You can say what you will about it. That, that crazy acting was that was insanity. That took some acting there. And this girl at the end, when she went just completely um hysterical, laughing and stuff, she just ran hysterical in back of that truck getting away. I don't blame her. Wow, that was insanity. Oh, hit me up in the comments and um tell me what you thought about this movie. Did you see it back in the seventies? Uh, that had to been the wildest thing in the world to catch back then in the theaters. Man, I couldn't imagine this moving in the theaters. But um hit me up and tell me what you thought about the chainsaw uh Texas Chainsaw Massacre and um how you feel about it. Did you like it? Is it like one of your favorite movies? Cause I, a lot of people really swear by this movie that it's one of the greatest movies, and now I've seen it, I see what they're talking about. It's this is horror. I mean, it's pure insanity. I mean, bones everywhere, a chicken in a cage for no reason. I mean skin all over the place. Hands attached to a chair. Well, give me up in the comments. Tell me what you think about it. And um, and what was your, I guess, favorite moment in this movie? Because it was just weirdness. But this is a true horror, though. It's a, I see why it's a classic. I had to rate it, break this movie. Like I say, I'm, try, I'm trying to stop giving 10, a 10 out of 10 from every movie. But this is a 10 out of 10 because this is insanity. You don't get more hard than this. This is pure insanity. This is a 10 out of 10. Wow. So hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you thought about this movie and how you feel about it. And also tell me when did you see this movie? Did you see it in the in a, um, 70s when it came out? Or, or did you see it these days? And um, also, you like this video, hit the like button. And if you really like it, subscribe to your channel and help this community grow. And I'll see you on the next video. Wow.